Hey guys, I'm Deja, and I'm coming at you with my first official vlog, and it's going to be about my journey through Cyprus. January 18th, no, January 19th, I'll be on a plane on my way to Cyprus to study at the University of Nicosia. Cyprus is a really small country. It's right underneath Turkey, and half of Greece, Greece owns half of it. So it's just really weird to explain, but it's going to be somewhere on the screen so you can see what it looks like and how small it is. But even though the country is small, the school, the University of Nicosia, is way bigger than Bennett College. It has over 12,000 students. So why did I choose Cyprus? Um, Cyprus has a relationship with Bennett College and they've had a relationship for a while. Um, the students from Bennett College have been going to Cyprus for a few years now. My friend, Shani, um, I've known her forever we grew up together she actually went uh last semester so fall semester of the 2017-2018 school year and I was like well dang I want to go too so I did I signed up and the program who's over is called global semesters and they have really good advisors and they help you with anything if you have any questions or any type of concerns they will be there with you every step of the way and I really 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 like global semesters they help me so much and i'm not even on my trip yet so just imagine how much they're going to help me when i'm there so i feel really really safe with this company and that's very important make sure you fill out the company that you're going with make sure you do your research to the university you're going to and see what type of relationship they have with your school that may help your um, planning to study abroad a lot more easier because if your school knows this university you want to go to they they already have connections and they can get you through a lot faster um but like i said please do your research because it's about studying and you want to make sure that you're comfortable where you're going to be studying at and it's not a vacation but have as much fun as you want but make sure you keep school first this is the first step of my journey and the first step requires something that's very essential and that's packing um if you're a person like me i have a lot of clothes and i really feel like i never can just have enough but when you only have, when you're only allowed one check-in bag and one carry-on, that's all I have. So I really need to make sure I have the essential things and that they can fit in those two bags. So I'm going to go through and show you what what's important, how I fold, how I decide what I'm going to take, what I'm not going to take, and just how I prepare myself to live in another country. This is how the finished look of me folding my clothes all laid out on the table so that I can visually see everything that I have um, and what I want to bring. So I did the Kamani style for folding so I can save space. Um, and this style allows you to fold your clothes and let, allow them to stand up so that you can stack them on top of each other without, you know, bulging out your suitcase. And so how I chose, you know, the clothes that I did out of a whole bunch. I just looked at everything that I recently wore. So if I haven't recently wore it in a while, it's not coming with me. So the skirts are here with the dress shirts. My dress pants, I brought a three pair, uh, three pairs of dress pants. Um, and then my casual and then my jeans. Also, I brought some outfits to go out, like night, night wear. Um, and then, you know, just casual wear, just stuff to wear to class. I especially recommending loading up on underwear, maybe two or three weeks worth of socks so you don't have to constantly wash. I hope this vlog finds you all well, but this is just the start. I'm going to go through tips of what to do, learning about currency, the exchange, how to pack, what to pack. Um, also, before you know this ends, I want to shout out Bennett College, you know, because that is my school. I am a Bennett Bell in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, this video is going to bring you everything that I experienced, what a 20 year old college student goes through when going abroad. So if you guys are interested, like and subscribe, comment, share. If you have any questions, get me on any of my social medias or leave a comment below. Thank you.